Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another lead guitar tutorial. One of the most common questions I get as a guitar instructor is what is the best way to improve as a soloist? Well in my opinion the best way to improve as a soloist is to learn from your favorite guitar players, uh, learn famous solos, and also take the time to understand how those solos were created using scales and how those scales relate to the chord progression underneath of the lead line. So in today's lesson, I'm going to be breaking down one of my very favorite guitar solos. It is by Brian May, and it's the solo from Bohemian Rhapsody. I got a full tab for you at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Support the channel there for a dollar a month and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now, let's jump in. Okay, close stick of the fretboard, getting started with section one of this lesson. Learning the rhythm part, which is very, very important if you want to be able to understand how the lead line works. So first, a demonstration. A one. Two, three, four, and two, and three, and four, and two, and three, and four, F. Two, and three, and four, F. E flat, E flat. Okay, let's break that down. Okay, so that rhythm guitar part is pretty simple. It's mostly just power chords and everything's in the key of E flat, but there is that key change at the end. We're starting off with that E flat power chord. We've got uh, six and eight here on the A string and the D string. Have that for two beats. One and two and, then drop the root down one half step. Okay, this is where I like to put my pinky on the uh, D string. Then we're gonna go down to a C power chord, third fret power chord shape. And you'll keep that chord for a measure. So far you have. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Next we're gonna go to the F power chord, first fret low E string. Okay, and also that third fret of the A string, obviously. Okay, here we're gonna have a little bit of a riff. It's gonna be one and two. Okay, so you hit the power chord, then we're gonna slide up to the seventh fret of the A string, descend chromatically down, and then down one more to the fifth fret. Okay, so, so that phrase is gonna sound like this. One and two and three and four. Make sure on the fourth beat you're hitting that D note. Then go to the five chord in this key, B flat power chord. Okay, so that was down, down up. Okay, putting together what we have so far, that'll give us the first repetition of the progression. See if you can play along. A one, two, three, E flat, and two slash D, and two, and C, two, three, four, and F, and two, and three, and four, and B flat. Okay, now, the progression's gonna start over again, but it's gonna be greatly embellished. Okay, so the second repetition of the progression is gonna start off the exact same way. So we have the E flat. The slash D. Then we're gonna have a little riff over the C chord. You can learn this if you want. Uh, it's gonna be like this. Okay, that's kind of an approximate of what's going on in the track. So we have the C power chord, then. Low E string, six, four, three, four, three. Then we're gonna descend. Okay, in the original track, this gets a little sloppy here, so it's hard to pick out, but this is very, very close. We have three, six, four, three, F power chord. All right, so far you have E flat, slash D, C and that riff one more time. All right, we're gonna have the exact same thing, that descended line on the A string, seven, six, five. But now, instead of going to the B flat, we're going to have C sharp power chord. And then 
then descend down chromatically with that power chord. So we're in the fourth fret position, then chromatic. So that was four, three, two, then go down to, to one, B flat power chord, and then a short A power chord. That's the open A string and the second fret of the D string. Though, if you want to bar the whole A chord, you can just play the whole A chord there, nice and short staccato. Okay, you put the entire second half together and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, C sharp. All right. Now, if you have that, you're ready to move on to section two, where I'm just gonna show you some scales that are gonna make learning the solo a lot easier. Then I'll start breaking down the solo lick by lick. Okay, fantastic work, everybody. You have that rhythm section down. Now, real quick, before we jump into learning the solo, I just wanna teach you three positions of the E flat major scale. That's what Brian's using to create his solo primarily, and learning those positions is really going to help you to understand how the solo works. So the first position is your E flat major scale in what we call G position. So if I create a E flat major chord using the G shape, outlining that shape is going to be this position of the E flat major scale. Okay, we can actually hear Brian's licks inside of that scale. Okay, of course he plays that up here, but it's the same exact scale, same notes. Okay, so, 11th fret low E string, the 8th uh, fret of the A string, we're going to 10, then up to 11, alright, then onto the D string, we're playing 8. And we're gonna have 10. Then on the G string, we're going to 7, 8, 10. Then on the B string, we have 8, 9, 11. And then finally on the high E string, we're gonna have 8, 10, 11. Okay, now moving on to position number two. This is going to be kind of a mixture of two different positions, the E position and also the D position. So it's gonna look and sound like this. Okay, he uses this position quite a bit. So low E string, we have 11, 13, 15. Same thing on the A string. Then on the D string, we're gonna have 12, 13, 15. Same thing on the G string. Then on the B string, we're going up a fret. We're going to have the 13th, 15th, 16th, and then the same thing on the high E string. Put all that together and we have. Okay, practicing that with alternate picking. Okay, very good everybody. Now time for your final scale position that you really need to learn. It's going to be the E flat major scale in C position. So I find an E flat note way up here on the 18th fret of the A string. There I can set up a little C shape. Okay, which is a little difficult. All right, but the scale is gonna look and sound like this. We're gonna have great lick. Okay, so uh, that was the 18th fret of the A string, 15th fret of the D, up to 17, up to 18, then the G string, we're gonna have 15, then we're going to have 17, the B string, we're gonna have 15, 16, 18, all right, then on the high E string, we're gonna have the same exact thing, 15, 16, and 18. Put all that together and we have.
okay, if you have those scale positions down, then you're ready to really tackle the solo. Okay, very well done everybody. You have the rhythm section and the source scales down. Now you're ready to jump into the solo. Getting started with your first lick, following along using the tablature at patreon.com slash swift lessons. Your first lick sounds like this. Okay, so we have the eighth fret of the D string. Down up there. Then bend the 10th fret of the G string up a whole step. Bring it back down and then pull off down a whole step. Now I'm on the 8th fret of the G string. Alright, then we're going to the B string 11th fret. Down to the 8th fret. Back up to the 11th fret and bend. Once you've brought that up a whole step, you want to do a little bit of vibrato. So, you put all that together and we have. Make sure you can count it. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and a three, and four, and one, two. Okay, now we're into measure number two, getting into your next lick. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so I'm on the B string 13th fret. I'm gonna have 13, go into 15, then 16. Repeat. Then bend up a whole step. Put that together with lick number one and we have. Make sure you can count that. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and a four, and a one. You'll notice that he bends a lot on the first beat of these measures. Okay, now we're in measure number three. We just bent. We're gonna hear a little bit of a dead note. If you listen to the isolated track, you can tell he's just kind of hitting some dead strings. Then he's going to climb up. Okay, so that was the high E string, 13, 15, 16, 18, and then bend up a whole step on the 18th fret of the high E string. All right, you put that together with the last lick and we have. All right, then things are gonna get a little bit busy as the B flat major chord comes in. Okay, so far you have, that's line number one of your tablature. E flat major, slash D. The C major chord comes in. F major. All right, then we're on to line number two for a very long melodic lick, but it's very fast, so I'm gonna break it up into two sections for easier learning. Okay, very good everybody. You have line number one of your tablature down. Now we're moving on to line number two, where we're gonna have this extended descending lick. It's gonna be very impressive once you get it down. Real quick, it's gonna sound like this. And nice and slow. Okay, breaking that down, we have the high E string, 18th fret, down to 16, and then down to 15. All right, then we're gonna go back to 16, and then hammer pull, 15, 16, 15. Okay. All right, then to the 18th fret of the B string, back to 15 on the high E, and then back to 18 and then down to 16 on the B. That's where you want to stop, okay, and just practice. Because after that, we're gonna basically have the exact same phrase, but off of the B string. Okay, very, very similar. Okay, so once again.
okay? If you're following along using the tab, you'll see that I marked it there as a place to stop and practice. Okay, then we're going down to 15th fret of the B string, up to 16, and then that hammer pull action again, 15, 16, 15. Then to 17 on the G, back to 15 on the B, 17, and then stopping right there, 15th fret of the G string with some heavy vibrato. You put all that together and we have. Okay, then at full speed. Keeping my alternate picking going. Okay, and he kind of speeds up uh, just after the first few notes. So, he plays. Then once he starts that hammer pull action, you can tell that he speeds up the tempo of the lick. So listen and play along with the original track on YouTube, you can slow it down. That's the best way to really get the phrasing exact. Okay, moving right along to line number three of your tablature. Real quick, before we jump into your next lick, I wanna remind you all to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and be sure to ring the bell so you can stay notified when I post new content. Okay, getting started with this lick, we're ascending up the E flat major scale in C position, playing over top of the E flat five power chord. Okay, so very simple, G string, 15 to 17. And then on the B string, we're playing 15, 16, 18. And then the same thing on the high E string. And then, as we go down to the slash D chord, we're going to repeat the same thing again. But when you've reached the 18th fret, we're gonna bend it up a whole step. Okay, from there we have. And that'll get you into your next line of tablature. So, now we're over the C5 uh, chord, and we're playing 15, 16, 13. That's the B string. So we're just doing that twice, okay? So 15, 16, 13, 15, 16, 13, 15, 16 and then bend up a whole step again as the F major chord comes in. So here's all of line number three. Okay, now we're ready for your final line of tablature. Okay, the final section of this solo is about two measures in length, and I think you can get both of them at the same time, because it's basically one idea. Okay, so that was the 10th fret of the G string, then going up to 12, and then 13, 13 of the high E string, and then back to 13 on the G. Okay, so far you have. Then I'm gonna, with my pinky, grab the 14th fret of the B string. Okay, so that was 14, 14, 14, and then a slide away. All right, and then your last little lick uh, for this solo. All right, that was the sixth fret of the G string. Then I'm gonna hammer up, pull off, and then pull off a whole step down to fourth fret. And then very quick, I'm gonna play an A note on the D string seventh fret, just as the A chord comes in on the rhythm. Okay, you put all of line number four together and we have. Okay, tremendous work everybody. You've got the rhythm section, you've got the scales, you've got the solo down. Now we're gonna practice. I'm gonna play through the entire solo at a slow tempo and see if you can play along. A one, two, and three, and four.
friends, thanks so much for checking out this lead guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash with lessons. Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. Thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up, so keep checking in. Please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.